people on the Fanatics of Electrical Skateboards, Paul here again, welcome back to my video. Today we're going to talk about different things, but they are all related to one subject. Decks and carbon fiber skin in the decks. So just so you know what's coming up in the video, so you can decide if you want to watch it or not, we're going to do a flex test of the deck without any carbon fiber skinning. We're going to flex a test the deck, the blue one there, with dual carbon fiber layers on the top of the deck and also we're going to flex test a deck which got carbon fiber single layer on the top carbon fiber single layer at the bottom this will allow us to see what are the differences in a deck flex uh, when we are adding carbon fiber different ways also after we'll test the differences between deck by the way those decks we're going to test they're all identical as well so it's going to be really good indication of the changes in the flex. So when we check and test the flex on the tsunami, that's the blue uh, big board there, we're going to then introduce a custom uh, made fiberglass uh, battery enclosure at the bottom of the deck and we'll test the flex again. So we'll see the difference between dual carbon fiber with battery box at the top for instance or dual carbon fiber with the battery enclosure underneath and what does happen with the flex carbon fiber skinning videos and tutorials that I've got which is I believe so far three a fourth one is coming out uh, very shortly how to do the edges correctly uh, became quite popular and I'm very happy with the results they are watched internationally which is quite nice so this is roughly the stat what I will do is I will leave the links to those videos in the description below so you can if you want check them out and maybe follow the same tutorial if you will like what carbon fiber skinning does for your particular deck so so far we've got uh, the beast uh, quite a famous board really this is carbon fiber skin top and bottom and this is now a year a bit over a year now after the process and as you can see it is absolutely perfect a couple of little scratches but nothing too major the color is still there there's no blemishes and nothing is peeling or cracking which is absolutely spot on the blue one here is my newest not yet finished uh, uh, board which is called the tsunami because of the well it's a different board you'll see uh, so this one got dual layer of carbon fiber i'll explain to you why i've done that and uh yeah that's it really so let's uh, do the jump test and then if you're still interested i will tell you what I think about all this uh, carbon fiber skinning or adding layers and then uh, yeah you can decide for yourself first thing first let's remember about safety the famous crocs so the Manta Pro with no carbon fiber Now this is the Tsunami and this is exactly the same deck but dual carbon fiber layer at the top. Oh fuck. Oh no way. Oh. You're joking me. Well guys, uh yeah, as unexpected. But it's the first time I've used a uh, skin of carbon uh, just on the top and it looks like 
it's not as strong and if you're doing it top and bottom I can't believe this so much work I've put into this oh it cracked right here right there shit well some people will be happy to see this anyway it is what it is oh that's a, such a gorgeous deck as well <laughs> I can't believe this I actually drove this over with my truck three and a half ton truck split right here I guess this uh, decks are inconsistently built I would have thought the truck took it no problem I'm jumping on the one without the carbon fiber it's no problem and this one split <laughs> can't believe this well I guess it's good to happen here not uh, not while doing uh, 20 mile an hour because the deck did not split where the uh, enclosure is gonna go yeah split right here where the trucks are oh bollocks man anyway well carbon fiber skinning <laughs> the process is still the same you do the bottom or top so that's relevant uh, still you know what, let's test the uh, Beast uh, deck, because the Beast deck uh, has carbon fibre top and bottom. Oh, that is... Shit, that is... Box. Okay, so here is the Beast, and uh, it's carbon fibre, single on the top, sing single at the bottom. So, as you can see, so if you want strength, I guess you need to go with uh, layer at the top, layer at the bottom. Fucking bollocks, man. I actually got the enclosure for this particular deck, and I've done this design for it as well. That took uh, a bit of time. By the way, you can learn how to do your own uh, custom fabric design for enclosures if you want. Anything you wish to, and it looks really nice. And a custom uh, heat sink for the tramp of Esks. <sighs> I can't believe this. Hey, well, welcome to DIY. <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess another deck. I'm kind of glad from some point, really, that it uh, broke where it broke. And now, here, without going fast. There we go, see the crack. And I've done this beautiful work of installation of the foam and all the inserts. By the way, videos on my channel if you want to take a look. At least you get some, some good out of this. <sighs> Whew, so here we go, guys. That's it for this video. Sorry I cannot be very energetic and smiley. I'm not happy. But it is what it is. Uh, well, at least uh, true and only the uh, deck slayer. <laughs> Maybe I should call my new board deck slayer or something like that. So here we go. So this is the, this is the same exact deck. Uh, that of carbon fiber skinned, but for, from the same manufacturer, same layers, everything is exactly the same. Um, and as you can see, that's the marks from there at the ground when the truck went over it. So this 
deck actually bent. Well, you know what? I'll leave the video in the description below. Take a look. It's it's really. I was impressed. I was shocked when when I drove my three and a half ton uh, Ranger over it back and forth and back and forth and parked it on the deck with the wheels on. So so the it, it was bowing right to the ground and everything was fine. No cracks or anything. So that's when I confidently uh, got myself another one of these and. Uh, with two skins of carbon fiber to reduce the flex. So to summarize, a uh, single layer of carbon fiber will reduce the flex. Uh, I'm 110 kilos, yeah, so I'm quite heavy. So what you saw in the videos, I believe personally, so the so single on the top will reduce the flex by about, I would say 10 to 12 percent, okay? Top and bottom singles will reduce the flex about 50 percent, a lot. So on a beast, I kind of do prefer, maybe would have preferred to have just a bit more flex, but as you can see, the strength is 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 really really good. I've been riding the board for a while and uh, going off road or whatever not, and it's not breaking, but it's not as flexible as I want it to be. Uh, so with the dual uh, carbon on the top and nothing at the bottom, uh, the deck uh, flex flex uh, goes by about thirty percent, I would say, and it was absolutely perfect for tsunami and what I wanted to do. Uh, luckily, I think it's luckily. I know it, it does feel so shit to be fair guys because i've put so much work into this and um yeah and by the way can't even get these decks no more so that's another another uh problem uh most importantly what i think is guys and this is this is this is you know what? i'm glad that i've made this video to be honest with you. i'm glad it broke because i think i will save somebody's uh somebody from injury if you're watching this video share it with your friends who are building decks uh sorry boards because you cannot trust any manufacturers out there. So two identical decks, one takes the three and a half ton truck, another one breaks on the jumping with dual layer of carbon fiber. How the fuck does that work? So get yourself a deck that you like, test it dry, yeah? If you need to reduce the flex, do what you gotta do. But before you actually go out there and run your board at stupid uh, speeds, and nowadays boards can go so fast, please do the jump test. Yeah, and I know people will criticize, oh yeah, you jumped a little too hard and somewhere in the middle. When you are going 25, 30 mile an hour on the road and you hit the massive bump, you will not know how you're going to hit that uh, uh, deck, you know? Do you want it splitting and, and digging into the ground and you're falling? I don't know. What kind of off-road can we talk about, or even mild off-road, if deck cracks under just uh, jumping on the conditions? It's only just me, maybe, but... It is what it is, and I'm going to test my next deck again exactly the same way. So hopefully I'll find one of these uh, so I can actually utilize the enclosure that I've made because that took a lot of thinking and, and working. And uh, so, well, that's it. Right safely, guys. Uh, test your stuff before you go out there. Seriously, please do. Fuck's sake. Yeah, well. All right. See you soon. Bye. Okay, guys. So uh, I'm giving myself a couple hours, and by the way, this is part for true subscribers and true friends. Um, I thought I'd share this with you. I know, I know it's just a deck, but if you are DIYers, you know how it feels when you put a lot of effort and time into something and uh, for it to go, well, not wrong, but you know, not the way you planned is uh, not such a great feeling. Uh, so three hours later, just a quick update. So I, my thoughts were like all over the show. I was thinking, you know what? I'm just gonna abandon this uh, tsunami uh, uh, project and uh, use the uh, gear drives on a uh, like a mount mountain board uh, deck, and uh, yeah, that's where I decided. But then, uh, then I thought to myself, you know what? How I'm gonna look into your eyes uh, later? Where if I quit, that's not right, is it? So, um, so if you're in trouble and uh, not in trouble, like you know, if you like frustrated or something like that with your with your build don't just leave it you know walk away give yourself a couple hours you know i had a bit of a good time with my little girl we went kite flying and uh and yeah so um so my thoughts were still there and um now um i still decided to carry on with uh the build and it's gonna be an exactly the same thing oh just hit the camera uh so this is where this is where that crack happened right on the side where the motor mounts are i don't know if you can see it it runs all the way along and it did follow through uh through the deck uh, 
uh, well the carbon fiber side actually looks okay but I know that's it uh, for this one you can probably see a line where it cracked the update is I've contacted uh, Michael uh, from uh, Mark 1 boards or X Mark Mark 1 boards uh, unfortunately for me this Mark uh, Pro uh, Mark 1 Pro decks are not uh, available anymore but and Michael thank you so much for hooking me up he's sending me a original prototype deck and that is so cool because I've spent so much time on that enclosure I'll just put it away uh, that uh, I still want to use it you know Eastgate Freedom sign and all that it means a lot to me and uh, I still want to use it so thanks a lot buddy and uh, it's coming to me hopefully we'll get it within a week I just ordered uh, more carbon fiber I've got enough to do a blue top but I'm definitely this time doing the bottom as well to replicate the beast well beast deck actually quite impressed me because it looks like it's indestructible it's really good well now I know I've done a really good job on that one so uh, yeah so here we go guys don't give up yeah I know other builders uh, Rad for instance I know he had some uh, hiccups with uh, certain things but now the stuff he's got is absolutely spot on so here we go we all go through stuff and that uh, shit happens and uh, yeah don't give up do not give up stay on your mark stay on your idea uh, yeah just do it and hopefully it's gonna be nice and rewarding unfortunately uh, this beautiful 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 deck of mine uh, has to go and be replaced oh there's so much work to redo unbelievable Gonna do all the inserts all over again and um, and the foam and blah de blah. <laughs> so this is the second time happening to me. Same happened on the beast, but I did cut the deck a lot. This is uh, untouched uh, deck shape, and this area here on the actual uh, drop down seems to be quite weak and not just on this particular deck there are reports of some other decks as well wow well, well i've got some ideas guys i actually bought more materials last night and uh yeah stick around because i'll show you how to strengthen this part for any other deck as well so more resin and harder now ordered from Easy Composites. I've got enough blue carbon to do either top and bottom, but I'm thinking I've got someone uh, on Eastgate Freedom who is actually offering to send me some really cool design carbon fiber from United States, something that is not available in UK. So I might change things up just a little bit. So let's see what I'm going to come up with. Anyway, guys, don't lose the hope. Don't give up, carry on, I'm back in the game, we'll make a new one and it's going to be even better, ride safely.